All right then gang, so I like to start using authentication inside our cloud functions just to make them a bit more interesting and so we can do more things and see different kinds of triggers. Now in order to do that, we're gonna to have to implement some kind of authentication system on the front end and we're using Firebase authentication right here. So what I'd like to do is in this video, create two modals, one for registering as a new user and also one for logging in. We don't need a modal for signing out. It's just gonna be a link which is currently a right there okay so the way this is going to work is very similar to how this modal worked right here we're going to have a div which surrounds these modals and when that div has a class of open it's going to show when it doesn't it's not going to show now i am just going to copy and paste this code from my repo if you want it the link is going to be down below uh, in the video description so i am going to walk you through this as well you can see right here we have a div with a class of open. Now, I'm gonna remove that for now, just so we can talk about that later on, the opening and closing of the modals. But essentially, like I said, it's gonna work exactly the same way as down here. When this auth div has a class of open, then the content inside is gonna show. If it doesn't, then it won't. Now, inside this auth div, instead of just one modal like we have right here, we have two modals. We have this first one right here, which is for logging in, and this second one right here, which is for registering. Now, obviously, we don't want them both to show at the same time. So the only one that's going to show is the one which has a class of active. Now, we're going to swap that class between this modal and this modal programmatically in the JavaScript later on when a user clicks on this link right here where it says no account register instead and this anchor tag has a class of switch right here so when they click on an anchor tag with a class of switch it's going to change the active from here to over here and vice versa when they click on this one it's going to change the active from here to this one so they can swap between the two so we'll talk about the javascript again later on as we do it but for now let's just save this and see how bad it looks inside a browser so far okay actually not that bad and all these styles are present already because we already created the modal class for this thing right here and this has exactly the same class so the only thing that we need to really style and worry about is the div that surrounds them and maybe just tweak things a little bit here and there as well. So in fact, let's go to the CSS and let's do that first of all. And again, I'm just gonna copy and paste these from my repo at the bottom down here. So we see this auth class first of all, that's the div that surrounds everything. Now this right here is gonna have a width and height of 100%, so it takes up the entire room in the browser. The position is fixed, it's gonna to be top zero, left zero by default. The background is this kind of really light gray color, kind of like an off-white. It's gonna be set to display none to begin with, but then if it has a class of open, we're gonna display it to block, right? The Z index is one, much like we did with the new request up here, so it sits above everything else. So that's this auth wrapper right here. And in fact, let's go back and let's give this a class of open to begin with so we can see what's going on. So when it has that class, it displays as block. The other things we've done is taken the anchor tags inside them, give them a text decoration of underline, cursor of pointer, then the modals themselves. To begin with, they display as none by default. That's what's gonna happen. None of them will display, but then it's gonna take the one with an active class and display that one as block. So only the modal with the active class is displayed. Now currently, that is gonna be this one right here which contains the login form. So inside the forms, by the way, we have an input for the email and an input for the password, and that's in a form with a class of login. Down here, we have the form class register, but the same things inside, email and password and a button register. We also have this class of error on a P tag in each one for any feedback or errors that we need to show to the user. For example, if the password is too short, if the username or rather the email doesn't exist, that kind of thing. So if we save everything and preview now the new styles, we should still see something. Let me just hard refresh and we can only see one of these modules, the one with the class of active. So then now we need to work out this whole functionality in the JavaScript. So the first thing I want to do is grab a hold of a few different things inside this document. We need 
handle on these switches right here because we're going to click on those which is this link right here to swap the modules between login and register and vice versa we also need a handle on the modules themselves right here because we're going to apply active and take away the class of active on those as we click the switches and then we also want to grab a hold of this thing right here because we want to toggle the open class on that so they're the three things really that we need so let me now create a new javascript file and we'll call this auth.js because I don't want to mix all this JavaScript to do the authentication up with this stuff we've already added. It's going to become messy if we do that. So inside auth, let's first say const and we'll grab the switch links first of all, which switch us between the login and the register. So const auth switch links and set that equal to documents.querySelector and we want anything with a class of switch like so so that's going to grab both of those oh and by the way we need to say query selector all because query selector just grabs one single item query selector all grabs all the items with that class and we need all of them both two of those so that's the first one then const auth modals and that is going to be equal to documents.query selector like so and we want all again because there's two modals and we want to grab anything with a class of modal now let's be careful because if we do that it's also going to grab this modal down here and we don't want that we only want the modals inside this auth div right here so we can make this more specific by saying auth modal and then it's only going to grab the modals inside the auth div okay so that's two things done next we want the wrapper so we'll say const auth wrapper and set that equal to document dot query selector uh, kind of spell yep just about and this time we're going to grab the auth class so remember that's the div that surrounds everything okay then so we have those three references now now the only thing i really want to do at the minute is toggle between the login and the register right i don't want to hide and show the whole auth div at the minute we'll do that in the next video when we start to hook up firebase authentication but for now all i want to do is hook up this thing where we register or login and we can click on this link to toggle between the two so to do that let's create first of all a comment that says toggle auth modals and then underneath i'm going to say i want the switch links so auth switch links then because there's two of those i can't just say add event list and that's not going to work because for that we need a single element this is a collection of elements now we have two inside that collection but we can cycle through those by using a for each method and fire a function for each individual item inside that collection so each item is essentially a link right so we can take each link inside the function and then add an event listener to each one. I hope that makes sense. So we cycle through the collection of links, we fire a function for each link inside that collection and we get access to that link as well. Then we add an event listener to each individual link in turn. And that is gonna listen for click events and then fire a callback function when that occurs. We don't need the event parameter, so we'll just say inside here auth modals which is the modals we have here again it's a collection so what we're going to do is use for each to cycle through each of those modals again and we'll fire a callback function for each one so we'll say modal and then that callback function is just going to say modal dot class list to access the class list on that modal and it's just going to toggle the active class so for each modal if it already has the active class it's going to take it away if it doesn't it's going to apply it so essentially that's the same thing as switching it from a to b and vice versa now this arrow function right here isn't opened up into curly braces and that's because we're just using one line and not really caring about the return value here so we can just do it all on one line and one more thing because we're passing through exactly one parameter into these arrow functions i am going to delete the parentheses because we don't need those when there's just one parameter or argument so that's all we need to do that should all be working now so again just quickly for each link 
We fire a function, we add an event listener to that link, which listens for click events. When that click occurs, then we grab the modals, and for each modal, we basically just toggle the active class. So if I save this now, I'm going to cross my fingers and hope this works. Let me refresh. And if I go to register instead, then no, it doesn't work. So let's just go to inspect and see if there's an error inside the console. There's not. So I'm just going to hard refresh in case it didn't grab those changes. And then I'm going to go to register instead and it still doesn't work. And I've just realized that the reason this doesn't work is because we've not added a link to this auth.js file from our HTML. So let's come down here and do that. I'm just going to duplicate that line and change this from app to auth.js. Save that. That was a schoolboy error, which I always make, by the way. Press refresh, and now this time it should work. Register instead. Cool. Login instead. And it goes back and forth and back and forth. Awesome. So now we have those modals set up. They're hiding the application at the minute, which is sitting behind it. But you know, that's only a UI thing because any old person could come in, inspect and actually delete this thing and still see the UI. So it's not really intended to block users from seeing this. It's more kind of um, a way to get people to log in or register to begin with. But we're going to hook this up to Firebase authentication in the very next tutorial.